<laughs> yep, there's a screen there. Sure doesn't seem like it. The backyard behemoth continues to be just the most remarkable thing. What an investment the screen has turned out to be. Magical screening that you can just look through. And from the outside in, it's shaded a tad. It's just from the inside going out. This effect is possible. Really sweet. Mexico Lindo, Lindo Artisianas is where I've come. Because what I need is a chimenea. And this is the place. That's where you come. In San Antonio. Look at that. Look at the beauty of that right there. Right? Oh, look at this stuff, folks. And even in a... Look at that. That's pretty good. COVID. You got to find a place like this, you know, and spend the money there. That's the uh, look at this woman looking at me, sidelong. I like that. Look at that. The lights on it too. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Hmm. Very nice. And back there, huh? Hmm. See that? Yeah, it's good. Too big with that. It's up smaller than that. We're not staying up that late, are we? Candle action going out here. Later, when it gets cold, I'm gonna light the chiminea. But I uh, picked up some candles just to light up the yard a little to go along with the LED lights. And they're nice, the candles have a pretty touch. From the uh, vantage of the behemoth, it's nice. Well, this is quite nice, the light here in the afternoon. The yard has become so different since the trees have been cut. Uh, our arborist did a fantastic job retaining the integrity of Dad's trees while uh, still removing the wildness, cutting away the dead uh, branches. It is really quite an incredible uh, thing that's been happening here. I've got a setup now out here where we can uh, see a lot of different things. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. 
<clears throat> but intriguingly, we can also see how it looks across the, uh, the way there. All right. I'm going to move that fire pit over here into this ring of rocks from the patio. It's too big for the patio. There's a smaller one for the patio. Bring that one right here. So we're now looking at the behemoth from the lowest point in the garden, the back fence where the two fences meet in the northwest corner. The behemoth is just so amazing to me. It's just like a black box right at the edge of the house. Uh, right now all the screens are down as you can see. I just went up on top of the behemoth up there because we're expecting rain either today, it's already cloudy, or tomorrow or sometime in the next two, three days. We're expecting rain, which has been, whoa, very, very short this year, very few rains. We built this thing over the course of 70 days. It rained once, and not even when that gutter was finished. So we haven't even seen how that gutter works yet. So that's what we're hoping for today. Oh, I just felt a drop. I just felt a drop. And I just went up there and I swept all the leaves off. So let's take a look at the top of that. Okay, checking out the roof. Boy, these lines are really good. Look at that. This little lip here and there's stuff under there to prevent water. It's so cool. And there's some leaves up here. I'm just getting rid of the leaves to see before the rain comes how many leaves get collected up here because we don't know that yet. It hasn't rained even once since we built the behemoth. So here we are on top of the behemoth trying to figure out how many leaves are up here. Not how many, but, you know, trying to get rid of the leaves that are up here and then to prepare it for what's going to be rain later today, which is going to define for us how much leaves fall during a rainstorm up here. Now, if you look, I just finished bringing everything down to the edge of the, uh, of the behemoth here. You can see this is how much There is how many leaves there are, if you will, right now. I'm going to sweep all these off the roof. This is the gutter that prevents the leaves from going in and the water. It takes a lot of it. It's a big, very custom-made gutter. Look at that. Now totally clear of leaves, and so is the top of the deck. So we are going to see now what happens. Look at how much there is over there. But I'm not going to do that because that stuff's going to have to be cut back and right now it's just dropping so we'll let that happen. But yeah, the, the roof of the behemoth is now clear of leaves until the rain comes later today.